بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله uh, I'm Ashraf Khater, Professor of Surgery at Mansoura University, Egypt and today we will speak about thyroiditis What's meant by thyroiditis? It means inflammation of the thyroid gland What are the types of thyroiditis? We can classify thyroiditis into acute, subacute and chronic About the acute thyroiditis, it may be infectious in origin and infectious may be bacterial, for example, uh, by strep or staph examination, which may uh, uh, proceed to be an abscess of the thyroid, or may be fungal in origin. This is infective acute thyroidites. Then there is radiation-induced thyroidites. By irradiation of the neck, it may induce radiation-induced thyroidites. The third cause may be drug-induced, like amiodarone and other drugs may induce acute thyroidites. This is, these are the causes of acute thyroidites. Then the subacute. The subacute th thyroiditis may be infectious in origin and it may be viral or mycobacterial and the viral causes what we call granulomatous thyroidites, which is termed decurvein thyroidites. It is exactly granulomatous. Uh, it looks like tuberculous thyroidites, but the main difference by isolation of TB organism inside the uh, granuloma itself. So there is uh, viral in origin, it is called decurvein thyroidites, and there is mycobacterial, and the difference in between just by isolation of the TB uh, organism. This is the uh, infectious cause of subacute thyroidites. Uh, other cause is called silent thyroidites, which is postpartum in origin. It occurs postpartum and it is a type of subacute thyroidites. So there is acute, there is subacute, and the third one is chronic thyroiditis. And the chronic thyroiditis again may be infect infectious in origin. For example, parasitic or echinococcus or what else it is infective in origin. It may be what we call redil thyroiditis, which is fibrosing, fibrosing thyroiditis. It is a type of fibromatosis. It is called redil thyroiditis and it results in woody uh, thyroid enlargement. It feels so hard, difficult to be differentiated from malignancy. And the third cause of chronic thyroiditis is autoimmune thyroiditis. And autoimmune thyroiditis is very, very important item in thyroiditis. We can classify the autoimmune thyroiditis into three forms. It may be focal form, it may be focal form, focal thyroiditis, and of course, usually diagnosed by biopsy, focal form or diffuse form called Hashimoto thyroiditis. And Hashimoto is a diffuse form which starts by what we call Hashitoxicosis, elevating the thyroid hormone, and ends by myxedema, by depressing the thyroid functions. This is Hashimoto thyroiditis. And the third one is called atrophic chronic immune thyroiditis, which starts by hypothyroidism from the start. It's called atrophic form. So again, we can classify into acute, subacute, and chronic, and in all infection is present, either acute or subacute or uh, chronic, and in the subacute, remember the viral, which is called decurvain and the mycobacteria. And don't forget in the chronic form, the redil thyroidites and the immune thyroidites and the immune thyroidites may be focal, Hashimoto, or atrophic, which starts by hypothyroidism from the start. Speaking about the redil thyroidites, don't forget, it is a part of fibromatosis. It results in woody thyroid enlargement. Uh, it may be, it may be presenting by hypothyroidism. There is lymph node enlargement. No, there is no lymph node enlargement. And it is difficult to be differentiated from malignancy except by biopsy.